Module 8, Ship and Port Facility Security Actions. In this program, the ideas, plans, and preparations explored and developed in the previous courses are put into practice and appropriate procedures are developed to facilitate security actions. The actions associated with a change in security levels are discussed and the importance of maintaining security at the ship port interface is stressed. In addition, the appropriate use of the declaration of security is conveyed. There are unique requirements associated with a ship's handling of cargo. Such security requirements should include measures to prevent tampering, obviously, but also prevent cargo that is not assigned to a ship from being accepted and stored on board that ship. This is going to require the active participation of the crew and its officers. Cargo security measures should include inventory control procedures at access points, cargo identification and approval for loading, procedures for securing cargo once on board the ship. Verification of cargo may be accomplished by visual and physical examination, using scanning or other detection equipment to include mechanical devices and canine units. This is also where you see the use of such things as the SAIC VACUS device or X-ray devices created by AS&E that will scan an entire TEU or intermodal container to detect the contents inside and verify that against the manifest. In the case of a really serious threat, you may see the security level go to three, and the ship's handling of cargo under level three is significant. The requirements include suspending loading or unloading of cargo procedures for obvious reasons. It may well be that the cargo itself could be suspect. You should see that there's an inventory or verification of the location of dangerous substances and hazardous materials that are on board the vessel. There must also be monitoring of the security at the port facility. The port facility should have the capability to monitor itself, its nearby approaches, on land and water, its designated restricted areas within the port facility, the ships that are within the port, and areas surrounding the ships. Monitoring could include the use of lighting, both within the perimeter of the port, within the designated restricted areas, along the perimeter of the port, as well as along bulkheads on key sides. The use of security guards, including foot patrols and waterborne patrols. Again, waterborne patrols are becoming very important as the risk from an Al-Qaeda type attack that we saw targeted against the USS Cole and the MT Lindbergh is something that could be replicated elsewhere in the world.